Good evening, everyone. It's wine o'clock here at the Wine Man's. Tonight's wine, it's the Bull Ant Cabernet Merlot from Lake Breeze in Australia. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this wine and what makes Lake Breeze such a fabulous vineyard. Why they are so renowned for their boutique wines, what this Cabernet Merlot is going to taste like, and also a little bit about the family. So let's look at the family to start with. Mr. Follett is, Greg Follett is the gentleman who is the winemaker, and they've been making wines around, they started farming grapes around 1880, so quite a while, <laughs> they've been doing a good job. Now, Greg studied in France and also um, various other parts of the world in terms of making his name in winemaking. Then he returned back to his roots and said, okay, we're gonna take the best possible fruit we can do. We're gonna make it in the best possible way that we can, and we'll see what we come up with. What you actually get is outstanding boutique wines. This is one of them, the Bull Ant Cabernet Merlot. So let's give this a little bit of a taste. Oh, screw cap, as we can see. So this is from Langhorn Creek in South Australia. And let's have a look what we've got here. So as I mentioned, Greg studied in California and also in France where he made his name and he brought it all back home. Look at the colors on that. Now Cabernet Merlot is a very classic blend. And the reasons for that is because Generally, I'm going to tell you before I even smell it, it gives um, a very berried mocha and chocolata type eucalyptusy um, aroma to the wine. And that's quite, quite delicious. Uh, it's a very, very good blend to drink on its own, but equally good with food. So there's the eucalyptus. But it's got, it's got a clove characteristic as well. Mm, I'm just wondering, what's the palate going to be like? What is this bad boy going to taste like? Mmm. 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 Oh my God. That is a fleshy, peppery, warm hug. You get, you get the eucalyptus in the mouth as well. You get the black currants, you get the plum from the Merlot, you, you get the cloves, you get herbs, you get a nudge, just a little nudge of spice that really makes it. It's not too heavy on the spice. The tannins, they're just silky soft. They're like French knickers. This is just delicious wine. So we have the 2017 vintage of this wine. Oh my God, put this with a nice big steak. Put it with a, um, some beef bourguignon, something like that. Put it with um, some barbecue. Perfect for barbecue. But the great thing is you can drink it on its own. Now, <laughs> the finish is still going. It lingers and it lingers. And that lovely eucalyptus characteristic really comes across. Vintage, let's have a look. 2017, as I mentioned, it's 14% in alcohol. But you get a little bit of tolerance level within the UK. Sometimes it's up to 0.8% higher in the tolerance level. So you don't want to be drinking too many glasses of this and driving the next day. But it's absolutely delicious. Lots of history behind it. Boutique winery, highly, highly recommend it. I'll put the link in down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Tell me what you like me to taste next and what you think of the presentation. Well, that's it for tonight. The clicker's back. I'm off to have some steak with this wine. Cheers.